Special Agent Fox Mulder here. And we have come down to the uh, Blue Scope Y, but there appears to be uh, a bit of drama down here. Someone's had a bit of a bingle. Everyone's all right, I've spoken to uh, everyone involved. So, the road's kind of blocked off a bit. So we're just waiting here. Now I've got to do the bug ahoy. By the sounds of it. Indeed we have. So good timing. I don't want to look down there too much. I don't want to be too much of a ghoul. But yeah, a bit of a bingle there. These things happen, everyone's all right. That's the main thing. Put out the Hastings here, the Y. About six kilometers southeast of Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. And we have a doodle bug. Probably a double carriage, I'd imagine. Yeah, double. Going through the slow there. Zip that out to uh, widescreen mode. Goes his ladder motor up a little bit more as he goes up through there. And looks like uh, the recovery is underway for the, uh, the vehicle involved over there that came off worse and everything else. So, doodle bug off to Hastings Station. A bit of a uh, live action here as you can see it's a fairly busy intersection stuff going everywhere so looks like you got a fair shunt on the front end everyone's okay that's the main thing anyway letting the traffic through now I had to park over over there and walk through oh, yep. They're uh, skull dragging that straight back up on the thing there, not worrying about too much about it. There's shit dragging off it everywhere. Next train along will be uh, the steel horse. <coughs> Just pegging that uh, car down on the back of the truck there. Yeah, so we uh, didn't have too much luck uh, down at Latrobe Valley. We went down there to fill. The uh, trains went off rail as soon as I was on, on the Monday that I was down there. So I am going to be going down there over the next uh, couple of months. So there will be trains from down there at some point. But yeah, uh, I will be down, going down there for uh, personal reasons due to a critically ill family member. So of course the uh, filming of trains becomes secondary there. But yes, there will be trains coming from there. So I did a couple of little little films. I've got a bit of mow equipment and some. Uh, I sussed out of where a few things are. Did a few reckies. Found where a few of the trains are. So all good. All right. Next train along is the Steel Horse Australia. Yeah, we can see the uh, state of affairs over there. Is uh, John Law still on the scene here? Direction traffic. So yeah, well, it's uh, an interesting uh, little catch there, the doodlebug going past an accident site. Thought like they're getting the banjo out there to pick up some of the debris off the track. Yep, 
There'll be some debris on the track, that's for sure. There's one of our local buses going past. Go to the live action. And his car gets on board. See John Law there in his high vis picking up some of the debris off the track. Traction for me, and while well, we're waiting for the steel horse Australia. Police are inspecting the road. A bit more than that, a bit more banjo work needed. I suppose some of that stuff could flick up in the your windscreen or Give you a flatty. All right, she looks like she's all aboard. But they're going to be picking up the uh, cones along there and uh, and away, all cleaned up. All right, steel horse next. It's actually not a bad looking bit of kit. Don't know what that was. Looking good today. Good advice there as well. As look out for trains, record trains, it's cool. So here we have a secondary switch at the turnout. You can see the train's coming onto a single line and it's not switching onto anything. So the reason I have this secondary switch here is because of this strange looking extended piece here. It's a uh, bit of a uh, redundant system for if there's a uh, wheel off the track so it's uh, instead of it falling off the side it actually the wheel falls in between these gaps here there can be a little bit of drama at crossovers so that's what this one's all about there's no need for it else because uh, the train's got nowhere to go whichever way that switch is set the train's going to go on this rail obviously so that's what these are for you can see they uh have special pieces that are uh, that are built for that very purpose. The actual switch itself for the main line is just up there, about uh, 50 metres or so up there. Uh, here's our main line switch. Next to our signal house here. Kept in some sort of jail enclosure. Hasn't stopped the uh, the tag is getting in there though. There's our signal tower as well, and that's the direction the uh, steel horse will be coming from. So we've got this is a both a mechanical and electrical. So these can be used as hand. They can use these by hand, but it's mostly electric, electrically operated. And uh, a bit further up the track, 
we have a sensor for when the train comes to a stop. Sometimes it comes to a stop here, make sure the switch is engaged and stuff like that, but most of the time you can just uh, roll to the crossing over speed and uh, proceed. Okay, steel horse ahoy. Fair bit down the track yet. He's uh, obviously clearly got to slow down. He's tooting his horn down there because he's got some private driveways to cross over on that, so. Slowing right down. Load of steel coils on the back of him there, rolled steel coil. Which will be heading around the corner to get onto some ships and some, also some uh, interstate trucking. Powering down now. motor is starting to work and we set go across there and now he's got the all clear to roll through I'll flick it out to widescreen Take a crossover. transition those steel coils are huge mate see him uh, making his way around the corner down there top of the hoy Uh, flying a bit of brake deck. He's got to actually uh, pull up. There's a derailer on the other side of the, uh, tr the road there. But he has to manually uh, disengage. Pretty cool. Seeing the train go over the crossover. Transition from one track to another. End of train. The little flash is not working there. All right, he's rolling across the road. Traffic will be banked back up for about a kilometre, 
as he goes across. Close that down a little bit. Yeah, cool. Don't think I've got a video I've been crossing over for quite a while. Maybe one of the first videos I did was down here, so it's good to get him crossing over from one track to the other. And there he goes, around the corner. All right, we're gonna uh, head in the direction I'm looking, and you're looking up the tracks, and uh, we'll see what else we can get. Pull up here and uh, let's put the doodle bug to flick past them. And there's uh, somebody walking on the tracks when the doodle bug is coming from that direction and not very far away. Yeah. I'd be getting up there if I was you too. Don't do you don't do that stuff. Uh, well, no wonder she got off the tracks. Uh, she must have heard the doodle bug horn because it was coming around the corner. Perfect timing. Doodle bug ahoy. High Street there, Main Street, Hastings, pulling up to Hastings Station. Alright, been pretty action packed day. Trackside with Agent Moulders today, got all sorts of stuff going on there. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Just go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll uh, check you in the next one, and that'll be Special Agent Fox Moulder. <laughs>